Big damage. Big, big boy damage. No recoil. No consequences for that play. There were zero consequences for that play. Okay. We are live on Twitch right now, but you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and we're using this rental code from Andy Law VGC. They're actually a YouTuber. I will drop their link in the description down below. Um, but it's a very cool hyper offense team with Choice Band, Hisui, and Arcanine. We're going to be hopping on the casual battle ladder and trying to find some Reg D games with it. But uh, it should be interesting. It's got Cover Cloak Thunderous, Sunny Day, so we can actually spam no recoil flare blitzes in the sun. That's going to be really fun. So, yeah. Uh, you know, if you guys enjoyed this and you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. If you're watching on Twitch, say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Um, but yeah, code is right there. Let's go ahead and borrow this and let's see what we can get. You only have a few more minutes or a few more seconds to say hi to YouTube. All right, what am I looking for? I have to look for casual battles. Double battle. All right, three, two, one. All right, no more saying hi to YouTube. They don't exist anymore. But yeah, no. Um, So let me go over the pokey paste real quick. Let me get uh familiar with it. So it's Covert Cloak, 76 speed modest. I believe, is that enough for bundle? Let me put this into Pokemon Showdown so I can see the actual stats. Be familiar with it. And this is a Reg D team. Actually, it looks like the Arcanine can go in pretty hard. The only issue is, um, the only issue is that has to be, that, that's a very annoying Pokemon to get around, opposing Urshifu, since we're not, well, I guess we're Terra Normal. If they don't go for, like, if they don't go for, like, close combat, we're fine. We also have Choice Band Extreme Speed. Um, I think what I want to do in this matchup is I'm going to lead up, or I'm going to lead off with my Rillaboom my Arcanine and that should be fine I think we just were able to deal with a lot of things um definitely think that like late game Tailwind is going to be useful and I think for my last Pokemon they have a lot of stuff that just drops to Sash Chen Pao so we'll go with that or I guess they also have a lot of stuff that just drops to Fluttermane so we could go with Fluttermane how fast is the Flutter it's modest 252 so I would have to get rid of that Chen Pao early I trust myself. I think I can do it. All right. Yeah, let me drop that code again for you guys. Oh, I can't drop it in Twitch because I'm not logged in on my Twitch. Hold on. Drop it over here. Whoa, that was loud. What was that noise? Sorry if that just blew out someone's eardrums. So it looks like Tornadus Moltres. Um, honestly, they might be Covert Cloak, but they're not taking this head smash. They're not taking this head smash. Let's also fake out the Moltres, because I don't really need to fake out the, the Tornadus. They're going to withdraw the Moltres. Oh my god, if I can get rid of this thing early, that'd be huge. Urshifu? Alright. Tell me you're not Sash. They actually bleak when Storm. Alright, come on. Big damage. Big, big boy damage. No recoil. No consequences for that play. There were zero consequences for that play. All right, now the issue is getting into position to do that again. So because we saw no sash, um, we can infer that the sash is probably on the Qian Pao. Let me think of how to do this. Arcanine's Terra Normal. Rillaboom is Terra Grass, unfortunately. I don't like that.
If I can get a tailwind up, I'm like in a really, really good spot. Ooh. Ooh, okay. This is risky. Um, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna Terra right away. Just to like take a Surging Strikes and I'm gonna head smash into the Chien Pao and attempt to U-turn. Which you might think this is a stupid play, right? But honestly, I think I just beat them with Flutterman. I think if I just Tailwind, I beat them with Flutterman. Yeah, Life Orb, Dazzling Gleam, I should be fine. They Ice Spinner me? Okay, if they go for Surging Strikes, I think I might live. Because Hisui and Arcanine has some pretty decent bulk. All right, no close combat. All right, nice. Oh, I'm I'm not living this. Nope, no, I wasted a Terra. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but that also looked like Mystic Water damage. So I think this might be safe. Let's Tailwind. Let's lock Dazzling Gleam. Alright, they didn't protect anything, so... If the Sash was on the uh, Urshifu, then we're good. If it's not, we're gonna, we're gonna have a pretty close endgame here. I'm hoping they just, like... Don't KO my Flutter. Alright. I don't know how well we take a Sucker Punch. I don't think we take it well at all, because this is no bulk Flutter, man. This is literally zero bulk. And they're gonna Terra. And they're probably gonna beat me. Yep, that's Terra Poison. So, unless they're not Sucker Punch, there's no way I win this. Nope, there it is. Okay. Well, that's just how it is. See, if I made this team, I'd probably be more partial to Bulky Fluttermane. And honestly, I think that that's something that this season has done to me is I'm so used to every Fluttermain being bulky that, like, I play as though everyone is in here. I didn't really do that, but, like, I kind of got into a situation where I'm like, oh, it'd be so cool if I could just, like, eat that hit. But I, I couldn't. I could not eat that hit. Also, I thought I would actually take that Surging Strikes. What are the odds that, um, that was Mystic Water? Pretty high, right? Okay, this is pretty interesting. Um, I actually always lead off with you. You know what? Let's just lead off with the dog again. Let's just lead off with the dog again. What the dog doing? Annihilating things. Let's just go all out hyper offense for this game. Alright, I mean, this is a Lily Cole team. It's a new Lily Cole team, which means it's... I don't know. I actually don't find 
I, I don't find his Sui and Lilligant Torkoal to be any better than regular Lilligant Torkoal. I think they're about the same. Okay, I need to Terra. I also think I Bleak Wind Storm here to break a Sash. And I Terra Head Smash to not drop to Earth Power. Are we Jolly or Adamant? We are Adamant 139, so we're outspeeding Regieleki at plus two, it looks like was the intention. Funny how rare Regieleki is this gen. All right, nice. Looks like I got the play right. Call me Shakespeare. And there's no way you eat this hit. There's just no way. This is so funny. This is such a funny Pokemon. This is, if if I may um, use a term, uh, a, a goofy Pokemon, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm about to get goofy. So... Here, I should always be able to Bleak Wind Storm again and not really worry about the consequences for my guy. Let's just go for another Head Smash in case the Sash is on this guy. And if they're going to tear a Dark here, that's really funny because I think that that actually prevents them from living the hit. Tear a Steel. Okay, I did not expect that one. Actually, that makes this endgame a lot harder because I decided to stay in. Can I... I think that's the Urshifu. Yeah. Big damage anyways? That still does half. That's hilarious. And now they actually might drop to a Bleak Wind Storm. That still does a hilarious amount of damage. And their life orb, okay. Ice beam, I should eat that. And I'm covert cloak, so I can't be frozen. Alright, let's go Chien Pao. And because their life orb been at minus one, my play's pretty straightforward here. I think that they just want to sucker punch me. So I'm gonna go for a bleak wind storm. And a sucker punch. Under them. They're gonna withdraw. See what's getting stormed on. Okay, that's big. They go for the detect. If I get the speed drop, I'm pretty happy. Because that means I don't have to tailwind next turn. All right, please speed drop flutter. Nice. All right. So now I think my play remains the same. Because I can't allow them to sucker punch me and I think that they always want to sucker punch me. So I'm just going to double down. Just do the same thing. Got him. Yeah. And now this is a single target. So I actually have a small chance to KO, I think. Because I'm doing 25% more damage. Oh, no. They are... Um, they are still faster than me. I did not expect that. But I think we're fine. As long as I don't... Oh, I missed. That's the thing I couldn't do. That's the thing I didn't want to do, actually. Okay. 
So I'm not sure the item on this flutter. I'm not. But. Oh, I can like, I can win instantly or lose instantly depending on the choice I make here. Oh no. I'm going to 50-50 it. I'm going to sunny day here and I'm going to go ahead and go for the moon blast into the flutter. Because if they want to go for a muddy water or no, they don't have muddy water. Ooh. You know, I can just protect. Oh wait, this thing doesn't have protect, does it? I think I have to bleak wind storm again. And I need to um life orb moon blast. Eh, Shadow Ball does it. Because it's it can't Terra. Alright, cool, I'm fine. Because alright, so basically if I sunny day there, that means that I just don't lose because I get a special attack boost and then Fluttermane never gets walled out by Gastrodon. But also just landing a crit bleak wind storm like that just secures the win anyways, so. Yeah, it was not necessary. The thing that I was concerned about is that if that was a timid Fluttermane, then it gets a speed boost and I don't and it outspeeds my Fluttermane again. <laughs> Now I do the funny. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so that could have been, um, could have been really bad. That could have been a, a silly game. Very goofy game, in fact. A silly, goofy endeavor, if I may. Okay. Hard trick room. Interesting. I don't know what to do about this except... Haha, <laughs> Urshifu. <laughs> this is a single strike, right? Oh no, it's rapid strike. Still, haha, <laughs> Urshifu. Um, let's lead off with... I'm Terra Water, right? Yeah, I'm Terra Water. I can lead off with the, with the Goofy Boys. The silly Goofy Gang. Um, and I think I always bring Arcanine in the back in this guy. And if they decide, if they decide that their main priority is going to be to fake out my Tornadus to prevent me from taunting, yokes on them. Because I'm just going to, I'm just going to rain dance and KO the Trick Room Setter. So, I would absolutely love if they let off with, like, Hariyama and... Er yep, I was gonna say, uh, that specifically. Because this lead would want to fake out my Tornadus, unless they're, like, Mental Herb. So, let's just try it. Obviously, they can still fake out my Urshifu. Um, but, if they're not Mental Herb then they're going to want to fake out the Tornadus to prevent Taunt. They're probably Mental Herb, though, so I just... I still have to go for this, regardless, is the thing. Yep. Go, go, Gadget, Covert Cloak. <laughs> go, go, Gadget. I'm going to... I'm going to beat your face in with a bear. One. Watch it be Citrus. Two. Okay, I, I had a little mini heart attack there. I was like, that might be a citrus berry because it paused for a second. But that was just the game being a little slow. Oh, nice flame orb. There's Bronzong. Um... Hi, Bronzong. We are going to annihilate you. Actually, I don't need to worry about Bronzong. I 
I don't need to worry about Bronzong. Let's just... Just annihilate Hariyama. It's the only real threat they have under Trick Room left. Oh, I could have probably KO'd Bronzong this turn. Whatever. One! Nice. All right, they should trick room. The gyro ball, incredible. Unfortunately, we're bulky. Not as bulky as I would enjoy. We're 252 HP, zero defense. But I think that, I think that, you know, that'll do. That'll do. There's Hatterene. I regret to inform you, I am going to click surging strikes. Please do not resist. Terra Water. You know what? I bet you Terra Water still drops to uh, this combination. Terra Fairy. You don't even need to get Bleak Wind Stormed, actually. You'll, you'll just drop. One. Two. And now their only Pokemon left is a Bronzong, which probably went for Trick Room as like a last ditch effort to win, but I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna They oh, oh, no, what? Actually that's kind of the tech. That's kind of the tech. You don't get walled by anything. Alright, good game. I clicked a total of three different moves this game. One. Two. Alright, nice. Solid, uh, solid little W there. Solid little W. Let's get a let's get one more game with this team i'll be right back by the way if you're watching live i'll be right back okay let's continue battling let's get let's get one more game let's get one more game i know i started the stream kind of late and i'm ending the stream still slightly late but you know let's, let's get another one Ooh, wait that's an articuno oh and i'm using this okay sorry Sorry, I, I regret to inform you, I'm going to hit you with a rock move. I, I, I regret to inform you. <laughs> Go with that. That team won a Limitless Tour earlier today? Which Limitless Tour? Send me, send me the link to the Limitless Tour in chat. There's no way an Articuno won a, t won a, won a, a tour. Otherwise, I'm making a video about it. Don't all three birds get Tailwind now? They always have. Let me see this. No way. How big is this? How big is it? Oh, it's a 26 person tournament. Still interesting though. Also, I'm cheating. Let me see that entire spread. Bright powder. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Bright powder. Yeah. All right, buddy. Listen up, pal. Listen here, buckaroo. I don't like your attitude. Also, that's a Scarf Regieleki with Zap Cannon. What is happening on this team? What is even going on here? Bright Powder Sheer Cold. You know what? Oh, it's not that. It's, it's Blizzard Terror Blast. I still respect it. I still respect it. 
I lost to it in a tour because I missed all of my moves. Well, something is going down this turn. Probably my Arcanine. Probably my Arcanine. But it was totally worth it. I I, I miss when Extreme Speed had like the animation from Gen 3 because I liked it. It literally was Okay, well that's going to KO me. Well, um... So, how do I do this? I think I always go Tornadoes here. There's their Chan Pao. And... Ooh... Aqua Jet plus Sunny Day could annihilate me. Or Aqua Jet plus Sucker Punch could annihilate me. I think what I'm going to do here is... This is a huge risk. This is a massive risk. Do not do what I'm about to do. I spinner oh it did not work out. It it did not work out. I I did a I did a goof. I did a goof. We lose. <laughs> so what I was kinda hoping for there. What I was kinda hoping for there was that they would just proceed to annihilate my um my Chen Pao with like a sacred sword and like an aqua jet uh and that's not what happened and now i drop to sucker punch plus aqua jet true combo in fact a true combo actually looks like you picked up a bouquet of oopsie daisies i certainly did i certainly did this team goes crazy this team's insane i want to steal it i want to steal this team Tell me there's a rental somewhere for this team. Oh yeah, and also we're not bulky flutter. I forgot about that. We're not bulky flutter, so we don't eat the ice spinner. All right, good game. You only have a 67.5% chance to hit Articuno. That is so cool. That is so funny. I'm going to steal that team. Yeah, ask Clover for that. Uh, ask Clover for the dude's info. I'm really interested in using his team. Anyways, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, I think that I, I will say that I like the concept of the team that we ran. I like the concept of the team, right? Arcanine, Tornadus, like that's fun. Um, I think that the EV spreads can be improved somewhat. For example, um. This is a pretty slow Rillaboom. It's got four speed. And that means we lose like every fake out ever. We lose every fake out wherever. Um, the Flutter main is also like pretty frail. And I think with Tailwind, you can afford to run like a bulkier Flutter main. So I would make some adjustments to this team, but I do like it. I think it's a fun team. I had fun using it tonight. So yeah, 
Um, if you guys enjoyed this, you were watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. Um, and yeah, the link to the team, the link, the pokey paste, you can actually see what I was using tonight is going to be in the description down below. Yep. Yeah. Have a nice one. Bye.